Here we're going to look at text answers. So this is where your students would write either a very short answer, maybe one word or two or three words, or have the opportunity to write a more lengthy response. So let's have a look at how we do that. We go to add new and we go over to the text box here. Click that and you can see that we have question and by default we have it set to short answer. This you can see is long answer. If we were to toggle long answer, which we'll look at in a moment, we've got um, space to write a longer response. But just for now, by default, it's a short answer. So we're going to uh, put a question in here. Now, obviously, you can write your question directly. For this purpose, I've just quickly made a question which I'm going to copy and paste and control V and that puts that into there. So which Olympic Games suffered at the hands of terrorism? Clearly, I just want one answer there, one word answer there. So that would go there and then I can go down and change my points there. So one word, one correct answer, one point, and that is done. Now, if I wanted to make a longer answer, I'm going to go add new text again. And this time I'm going to toggle this to long answer. And you can see that when I do that, the space for the response is uh, larger. Let's just do that again. So one line there with the long answer off and a bigger box with long answer on. That's really important. I'll show you why that's the case in a moment. So I'm going to go back up to my pre-prepared question, copy that and paste it in there with control V. Explain how the Los Angeles games were commercialized. There's more scope here now for a longer response and I might give that four marks. So I'm gonna go over to preview and see why that's important that we have both the long answer and short answer selected. So in preview, those questions were four and five or five and six. So which Olympic Games suffered at the hands of terrorism? Now, there's only one line available there. So obviously the response needs to be just one word or a short response, but if I wanted and I made a mistake when I'm creating this and I wanted my students to write much longer response. Let's have a look at what happens if I do that. So imagine our students are writing something incredibly interesting and substantial. But look at this. All that's happening is it's just one line. So that's really difficult for them to write and difficult for us to, to assess when we come to look at this at the back end. So please make sure that if you want a longer response, you check the long answer because this is what happens when the student is writing a longer response. We just are typing away merrily, and then obviously that will return to three or four lines. But if I keep going and press return, it gives me the option to write more. So that basically the box expands uh, with the size and the quality, quantity of response that I make. So that's really, really important and really useful to be aware of.